So I'm not going to be talking about too much today. Just a couple rumors that I've been hearing. And one that I can't seem to shake off of my new feed for some reason. Uh, let's start with the first thing. I'm sure many of you have already heard about the Oculus Quest at this point. As it is one of the most popular virtual reality headsets right now. In fact, during the last quarter of last year, it sold a little over 300,000 units. However, despite the fact that it is wildly popular and less than a year old at the moment, Facebook already seems determined to create a sequel to the headset. Not much is known at this point about Project Del Mar, other than the fact that it is currently stationed as a standalone virtual reality headset. And really, that's about it. Honestly, I didn't really want to do this story, but it's been crossing my news feed for days and days. And I figured you guys would want to get uh, excited about something else since Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing had just launched the, the other day. So, I guess now you guys can get excited for the next, what, five years? Or six, however long it'll take Facebook to finish developing the Oculus Quest Gen 2. And this other story is a little bit more strange. Um, I'm sure you guys all heard the news about how GameStop is trying to claim themselves to be essential needs during a virus quarantine or whatever. And how they eventually came to close their doors to the public. However, they just launched a service earlier today, Sunday the 22nd. That is basically store pickup. The email I received from them essentially states that their operating hours are reduced from noon to 8 p.m. and you will only be able to order stuff through the app or through GameStop.com and pick up your products at the door to the store while associates only are going to be allowed inside. So I guess something similar to a workaround so that they're able to stay somewhat open but at the very same in the very same aspect though they're still not essential services, and they're not really providing a, an essential service because, as I'm sure a lot of you already know, you can you can already get all all the stuff they're selling at a discounted price from Walmart or online or through a digital store of whatever you're choosing is, whether it's the Microsoft Store for Xbox, or the PlayStation Store for, well, PlayStation, or the eShop for Nintendo Switch, or maybe Steam or Epic Games for PC, or like I said, you could even order the stuff off of Walmart and then it'll still get sent to you because Walmart is technically a grocer and as a result, essential services. So I think GameStop is still trying to stretch their money and stretch their services as much as possible during this horrendous uh, situation that we've got going on. And oh, I think this might just be pushing their luck a little bit too much, if you ask me. If you guys want to support me, blah, 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 Facebook, blah, 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 YouTube, blah, blah. But if you guys want to do something more courageous, something more giving, something that'll actually net you some good karma at the end of the day. Just head on over to HumbleBundle.com. They have all kinds of bundles on different kinds of stuff, whether it's TV, books, music, games, whatever. Not only is that stuff discounted, but a lot of the stuff you end up getting from there will support a charity. The month, the featured charity this month is called Child's Play which improves the lives of children in hospitals and other childcare facilities through the power of play. So regardless of what you decide to get, should you decide to get anything from that website, you will be supporting a charity in doing so. So I, I personally think that's really cool. So the 
The link to that website is in the description down below. Just head on over there and pick something up for yourself.